What up, guys? This is your boy, DZD, a.k.a. The Drink Gang, Purple World Entertainment, and you are live inside the Dungeon Palace Studios once again. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. Thank you guys so much for clicking on this video. I really appreciate you guys' support and helping out and building this channel. Thanks so much. I got a nice video for you guys today. This is gonna be a tutorial that was asked by one of my subs. It was asked for me to show you guys how I arrange my beats, what I do when they come out of the NPC software and when I get them into my DAW. So that's what I'm gonna be going over with you guys. I'm gonna just show you guys a basic arrangement. But before we get into the video, make sure you hit that subscribe button and also hit that bell notification. That way you guys can get notified every single time I post a video. This tutorial is gonna go by pretty quick. So sit back, relax, enjoy. Let's head to my desk and let's start arranging. Let's do it. All right, we are live inside the NPC software. I'm gonna give you guys a small, quick taste of how I arrange my beats. This is a track that's inside of the NPC software now. It's a full track that I have. Let me let you check it out. That's our track. We're gonna go Control Shift E. We're gonna hit Explode Tracks 24 bit. Um, and that should be it. And we're gonna hit Export. And then we're gonna create a new folder and then put stems. And then paste our beat title there. So everything is inside of the folder. Hit Do It. And then we're gonna save all of our stems. It's gonna export all of our tracks. We're done with the NPC software. Then now we're gonna go to Reaper and I'm gonna show you how I get the tracks out of my folder into Reaper, into my software, my DAW. All right, now we are inside of Reaper. Um, so we're gonna get the tracks and load them inside. So I'm gonna go up here to insert. I'm gonna go to media file and then I'm gonna go to my NPC folder. So let's grab all our tracks. I'm gonna select everything. And then we're gonna hit open. It's gonna ask me if I wanna separate the tracks or single tracks. I'm gonna hit separate, of course. Okay, and then we're gonna go down here and change the BPM to 141. Okay. Nice, nice, nice. Then we're gonna shave this down to our eight bar loop and this is our tracks, all inside. Okay, just for the sake of the video, I went on ahead and labeled everything. Um, so now we're just gonna go ahead on and group these. So I'm gonna double click and create two new tracks down here. I'm gonna drag all, one all the way up here and I'm gonna label that my instrument track. Okay, that's where all of my instruments are gonna be folded. This is like my folder. So I'm gonna hit this little thing, this little uh, folder here and it's gonna it's gonna put all of my tracks underneath in this folder. So I'm gonna find my instruments. Let's put this up here, put the 808 down here. Okay, just three instruments here. And then I'm gonna hit the last, the, the same button in the last instrument track. I'm gonna hit that twice. And that, that brings the rest of the tracks out. So this is now my folder track right here. And then I'm gonna do the same thing with the drum, with the with the new with the other track. I'm gonna bring it all the way up here where I want the drums to fall. I'm gonna label that my drums folder right here. Then I'm gonna do the same thing, hit this, and it's gonna nudge wedge all of the tracks underneath it. And then I'm gonna go down to the last one and hit that twice. That way anything I put underneath, it, it's out of that. Okay, so now we're good to go. Now let's color code these tracks. Let's go F12, let's go, let's do it. I usually label all my tracks the same colors. So all of my melodies are usually, are usually green. All right, and anything else is either yellow or orange. I'm gonna go yellow. So drums, my drum folder is always red. 808 is always a light red. My kick and clap is always green. Um, all of my hi-hats are always uh, yellow. Uh, yellow. And then all of my percussion sounds are always an orange color. 
Okay, there we go. That's our tracks ready to go. Now we have everything labeled and, and uh, color coded. So now we know where, where we at. All right, now let's go down and arrange this beat. Let's do it. Um, let's shrink everything. I have um, the MPC hooked up to Reaper as a controller. So I have a bunch of the functions in Reaper that's mapped to a bunch of the controls. So just from the just from the directional pad, I can shrink things. You know, I can shrink like that. Um, the wheel is my jog wheel to where I can I can scroll through. If you notice my my marker there. Um, just a bunch of features that I have. You know, that's all on the MPC. So let's shrink this. So first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna highlight everything and we're gonna hit Control D and duplicate this a couple of times. Okay. And then we're going to drop out the drums. I have the A, the A uh, button here on my keyboard set up as a mute button. So I just mute the tracks that I don't want. I can mute them. So that's what we're going to do. So we're going to take out this Vox melody. This is that's gonna be my intro right here. Let's let's drag the, the button here, hit shift R, and then hold shift and double click on the top here. And then we're gonna label that intro. And then we're gonna hit we're gonna hit set color. We're gonna label the mark it mark the intro green. Okay. And then this is going to be where our verse starts. Our verse is going to go for four bars. So let's highlight that. One, two, three, four, right there. Hit Shift R to make a region. And then let's label the region verse. That's verse one. We're going to set the color to the verse. We're going to set the color to blue. Okay, that's our verse. So let's construct our verse. Um, I don't want this to come in just yet, neither this. So the drums are going to come in and not the percussion and the hi-hat rolls just yet. We don't want the 808 to drop either. And then we want to cut all of the drums off right here. So let's take all of these and wind it back. time right here we're gonna stop the hi-hats and the kick drum right there that hit once again right here all right and then we're gonna mute all of the drums right here and we're gonna call just this section our break okay and we're gonna set the color to yellow for break Okay. There we go. Now we're going to grab this. We're going to duplicate that over. Uh, let's grab another one. We're going to go out and get rid of these. 
and then we're going to bring back in our drums with A, and then we're going to call this our chorus. All right, and then we're going to set a color. Let's set green for our chorus. A green. take the verse, hold control, and then we're going to move this, or uh, duplicate that over, and then we're going to call this verse 2, okay, and then what we're going to do in verse 2 is we're going to drop all the rest of the drums out, let's drop all of the rest of these drums out right here, all right, and then we're going to bring in the hi-hats right here, but we're going to cut this off, so we're going to go here and split it, and delete that. chop this up just a little stutter effect so let's go to the grid and put that on 16 we want 16 one sixteen, and then we're going to kind of chop this up for a little stutter effect let's hit split chop this up chop this up and let's see if we can do something like this to kind of give it a little stutter effect let's see And here, when it gets to this part, we're going to drop the 808 out because you want just the melody to play. And then, it's, then we're going to bring the 808 back in to introduce the next chorus. All right. And then we're going to drop the drums out. Again, right here. All right, and then we're gonna bring back our break. And then our chorus right here, again. All right, that's it, that's it. And then what I do for the outro is, not this piece of the first verse, not that piece, but I take this piece of the first verse, the last three bars, and then I duplicate that here. That way when it, when it gets to the end of the chorus, it just kind of goes into the into it, and then I can fade this out. our outro right here so there you have it there's the arranged beat nice good everything is arranged ready to go thank you guys so much for tuning in i hope you guys got a good idea of how i arrange my beats how everything happens once i get it out of the npc software and i get it into my DAW. as i said this is just a basic arrangement of how i do it sometimes this switches depending on what the artist wants what the record label wants or what the mixing house wants. It's a fairly simple process. I make sure that when I arrange, I give the option to have different pieces on the beat. That's why you saw chorus, breaks, verses, all of that stuff like that. Just in case the person wants it, they can have it. If they don't want it, we simply chop it out and we print another beat. If you guys have any questions about what you saw in this video, by all means, drop me a comment below and I'll try and help you guys out as much as I can. Also smash that thumbs up button if you got any value from this video. I really appreciate it. Make sure you guys are following my Instagram at the Drink King and also follow my Facebook page at facebook.com forward slash Dungeon Palace Studios. My new kits have dropped on my website, the Iconic Chords Volume 3 sample pack and also the Dungeon Drum Kit. Make sure you guys head on down, go grab that. You don't want to miss out on both of those kits. 
That's my time, guys. This is your boy DZD, a.k.a. The Drain King, Purple World Entertainment, live from the Dungeon Palace Studios, and I will catch you guys in the next video. Peace out.